today I am back from Arizona. I actually just landed about two hours ago. And the first thing I did when I got back is obviously take a look at my cabinet because I just made this thing and then I pretty much immediately went out of town and I was really scared to see what has been happening in here uh, because I was a little wor nervous. Some of my plants that I had been keeping in cups dried out a bit. Plant babysitter sent me some photos uh, and some of the ones in cups were drying out, which was like, I was like, crap, I just didn't weather strip it enough. Like it's not good enough and things are dying. And so like it came back all stressed and worried. And you guys, literally, <laughs> it was two plants and cups that weren't doing well. Um, I think the plants were like right in the front and because they were in cups, the, the light is so strong in here. Like it is so good that honestly, it was just like sucking all, <laughs> like sucking all of the water out of the cups. And because they weren't like with other moss that could help it stay like wet and humid, uh, they just like dried out. Literally everything is growing and I'm so excited and pumped and I am, it just like is validating me that I did this project because this project was so hard. If you haven't seen my video on this, I will link it in the description and the comment section. But this took me six days. I literally cried once. It was so rough. I'm just, it, it's just making me so much happier that I did it because it looks so good. Even better, like literally everything is growing, you guys. My sport variegated my Sarah, my Elsa, like is putting out a leaf. My Elsa Mania is putting out a new leaf. My Florida Beauty put out another new leaf. Everything is putting out new leaves. The orchids are growing. The Hoyas are turning purple and growing. The Anthurium, like this is a brand new, you can't even see it, but there's a brand new leaf on my palette of Florium. My Mame, all of my variegated Heteraceum, the QNC, like literally everything, you guys, is putting out new leaves. And, um, I'm just so excited because this video is going to be sponsored by the chlorophyll corner because as you guys know I did just come back from Arizona and I have all of these beautiful wonderful plants from Joe's shop the chlorophyll corner we are going to put them in here and kind of make it all look really nice and fun I bought live moss I bought some isopods that we're gonna release into here and some springtails and I'm just really really excited <laughs> like I am not, I'm feeling like kind of really tired and exhausted from all the traveling, but the only thing I want to do is just set this thing up. So uh, even though I haven't even edited the other chlorophyll corner video yet, we are going to just skip ahead and I'm going to film this one because this is just all I want to do is play in my big, my big little mini jungle box. Show you the new growth, which I'll do at the end, but we're going to start by upgrading the box. I literally shoved this in my... <laughs> in my checked baggage. So we're going to be adding this uh, log and some more moss in here and we're going to be tying some plants around this. I don't know if we're gonna get all of this done today. This might be like a two day kind of thing, um, but I'm just really excited. So let's just go ahead and get into upgrading the cabinet. Okay, I feel like I got a pretty decent like handle on the base right here. I repositioned a lot of these plants around the wood and I think the wood makes it look a lot nicer. Now what I'm going to do is take my little enamel wire and I'm going to show you my new plants. Again, uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by The Chlorophyll Corner. You can go and follow them on Instagram and check out their store in person uh, in Arizona. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with Joe from The Chlorophyll Corner. Um, upcoming so you are definitely going to want to go follow them on Instagram and uh, see what they got going on they are the premier terrarium and rare plant shop as well as common plants in uh, Arizona uh, which I feel like is I have pretty high expectations these are the plants I literally just flew home with so here we have the philodendron terrapus number two Oh my gosh, I should have thought about this better. Let's do it like this. The Philodendron Terrapus number two is so nice. It looks like a Mykins. Um, then we have the Begonia Glabra. And again, all these plants were sponsored, so I did not pay for them. Then we have, this is so cool. This is probably my favorite one I brought home today, which is the Raphidophora Corthalsii. It is a velvet uh, shingling raffidophora. 
It is so cool. I have here a philodendron pomanii, which I am really excited about because I've wanted one for a really long time. Then in here, I have a bunch of different ferns that we're going to put in there together. I'm so excited. Then also I have this Hoya Matilde Splash that I am so excited about. It's actually currently growing. I'm not sure though if I'm gonna put this in there or if I'm just going to keep this one separate. I did get a moss bag full of living moss, different kinds, as well as two orchids. One of them, uh, which is this one, I'm going to take off its mount and we are going to put on the wall. And then this one, uh, Joe gifted to Chris. Every time we go there, he always gives Chris a plant. And this was the one that Christopher really liked this time. This orchid is Angraecum distinctum, which is pretty cool. Christopher likes these more like chainy orchids. Uh, yeah, then we have our box of moss or bag of moss. Then also the, like this probably the coolest part is that we are going to be releasing isopods into the uh, box. They are going to just climb all over. These guys are going to do awesome. And also we're going to do springtails. I'm really excited. You guys, we're leveling up. We have leveled up. Okay, cool. And I'll give you a better showing of each of those plants um, that I just showed you in a minute once they're like all in, in the box. And I think once everything is in here, it's going to feel like really nice and full. Like, cause right now I feel like it feels full, but I feel like, I feel like it could look fuller. So, and now I'm going to play with these plants and get them all uh, set up in here. So as I am laying the plants into the moss wall, I am using enamel floral wire to hold them into place. That is how I keep all of my plants. If you haven't watched my tutorial on how I made this cabinet, basically foamed the back of an Ikea Rudsta cabinet and then lined it with moss. It's a lot of moss. And then I pin with this little wire the plants into the moss and it holds them into place. Everything works really well. I mean, I'm actually surprised it kind of worked out so well. I had so much fun just sitting here listening to music and kind of placing things. I did have to re-moisten the cabinet because I had had it open for like two or three hours and everything kind of started to dry out and all of these types of plants really like to stay moist all the time. When it came to wrapping the moss around the log, that was what I was kind of most concerned about. Replacing all the plants, making sure I was giving them enough water. There is liquid art in the water that I was putting down. One thing I don't really mention is I didn't end up using the ferns I bought at the Corfo Corner in this build. I put everything in here, including the isopods, except for the ferns and the Hoya Matilde Splash. I decided I'm gonna keep the ferns for a different project, which I'm starting really soon, and the Matilde I'm going to be keeping out. The other thing was I wasn't quite sure how to put the isopods into the cabinet without hurting them, so I tried to just gently dump them in, and I know that's kind of an oxymoron, but I did my best, and I think that they were okay. I see them around a lot, so I think it went really well. Okay, so I put the dwarf, the zebra ones up here, over in this corner, and I put the yellow ones right here, and then I put the other ones right here, whichever ones they were. The only thing I have left is one thing of dwarf white, which I think I'm gonna give to my friend or keep for a separate moss terrarium because I kind of want to start like a moss terrarium. Um, yeah, we're gonna come back to this tomorrow uh, when I have more light and I can kind of show you everything I've done because you're not gonna be able to see it very well tonight because it's literally dark, but I'm happy. Oh no, no, he's trying to escape. Escape artist. No, sir. You must go back home. I promise, sir, you'll be much more happier in there than you will be out here. Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hello. So don't hate me, um, but after I filmed this about six days ago, my health plummeted. 
Um, I've been going through some stuff. I've been talking about it on Instagram. If you want to know more about it, you can follow me on Instagram at Play Me Ashley. But basically, it's been five days since I've planted this and I thought I would show it to you. I said I was gonna show it to you the next day so we could look at it in the light, but that didn't happen because I could not move. <laughs> so I'm going to show it to you now. It's really nice. The plants are growing in nice. It's fun to see the little isopods kind of like run around and do stuff. Let's take a look and hopefully we don't let any of the isopods out on accident. <laughs> so right off the bat, little isopod guy hanging out. Look at him. Little clown guy. I think that's the clown one. Um, here's my Elsamanii. It's not one that I got from the chlorophyll corner, but look. New leaf. Here's our new leaf on my mag poppy hybrid. But I know, I know, I know. You guys want to see the new plants. Let me show you the new plants and where I put them. First of all, this moss is doing really, really great. I put it all over the log. I put some of it up here. I put some of it up there. And I put some of it over there. And then this piece right here. I'm kind of hoping it'll like fill in. Um, here is Christopher's orchid that they gifted him. It's very cool. Again, I don't really know the names of these. I feel like I'm trying to move away from like being classist with plant names and starting to just buy things that I like. I'm not really focusing on their name. Here is the Raphidophora that I got from him. I think it was Corsalthia. It is so cool. It is a velvet and it's already giving me a new leaf since being in here. Again, here's the orchid I mounted. I feel like it makes that space just look really nice, especially since right above it is my Palladiflorum. And then he's just right there. I'm hoping that we see some flowers like pretty soon. Right here is that really cool philodendron that looks like Mykins, but is not a Mykins. And then right next to him, I put a shake because I just thought that little splash of color looked nice. And speaking of which, this is the log. I put him in here and kind of planted everything around him. And I feel like he looks very nice in there in the position that he's in. Here is our little Plowmanii and it is throwing hands right now. So we have that new leaf coming in that is gonna be pink. I'm so excited for it to get a little bit bigger. But that is just so cute. I know it's not, again, one of their plants, but my mame also is doing a new leaf. This is sun stressing, which I was kind of worried was gonna happen. I'm gonna start turning my lights off. I've just kind of been leaving them on all of the time. <laughs> like, literally, I haven't turned them off. I'm trying to think about what else I got from him. Ooh, look at this new white princess leaf. That is so pretty. I literally like can't even remember what the new plants are because they just feel a part of this now. Like everything just feels like it all belongs in here and has this whole time. So the only thing I did buy from the chlorophyll corner was the log right there. And then I also bought all of the isopods, uh, which I put the clown ones down here. I put the powder orange ones right there, and I put some of the dwarf white ones right there and right there. Those are also the two locations. I put both of the springtails. And then I think over here, I also tried to put some more springtails because you can see that piece of like coal sticking out right there. But it's been really cute. I don't see them too much, I assume, because they're working, but they are around and I get to see them sometimes. I don't dig for them because I don't want to bother them, but I think all in all, it is a really good upgrade. I really like everything here. Like, are you kidding? That looks so majestic. The other plant I got that I didn't plant in there, this Hoya Matilde Splash. I don't think I'm going to be putting it in there. I feel like it's more of like a bright light Hoya, or at least I'm gonna try it like that. So you guys let me know what well, you've had the best success with this particular plant in, but right now I've just been enjoying it in my window. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, here's some good luck Hoya blooms. They're both blooming.
don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much to Joe and the Chlorophyll Corner for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out at the link in the description. Right now they are having a 10% off sale at uh, their shop, so you're welcome to go in. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please don't forget to go support Joe. He has been like one of my favorite people to work with in the community just in general. Even if you don't live in Arizona, his shop alone is like a reason to drive down. They just got a shipment in of like some super like rare aeroids, super uncommon plants you would never even find, plants you'd normally have to import. They are available for sale and you can pick them up in two weeks. He has some, like seriously you guys, you wanna run, don't walk to his shop. Everything is 50% off and they're going to, uh, have all those plants available for pickup in two weeks, but you can go in and reserve them two weeks early right now as of today. So make sure you go check out Joe's shop in Tempe, Arizona and uh, shoot him a message on Instagram, give him a follow on Instagram and all of that. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.